Welcome to the Jeff Crilly Show. Welcome back to the Jeff Crilly Show. You're Let's listening to some, some amazing music, and, and that is uh, my next guest uh, on the Jeff Crilly Show. Mark Carroll joins us. You are a music legend, and, and your bio... In my it, own mind. <laughs> your bio <laughs> just goes on and on and on, but let's just suffice it to say you are, are um, you know, a just a, a legendary artist and now a, 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 a much published, uh, publicized author. Reaching for the Moon is, is your title. Yes, and I'm, I'm very excited about this. Well, um, you should be, and let's let's talk about. For those who don't know, Mark, um, one of his claims, many claims to fame, is that he was uh, the uh, headlining artist at the Mansion in Turtle Creek for many years. Yes, I was there for nine years, and uh, it was wonderful. Um, audiences were great. Um, the very best musicians, side men um, from North Texas. And we were just creating our little rears off. <laughs> <laughs> That's, well, you're you you're wonderful. And I uh, tell Thank us you. about the early days. So, like when you were a child, were you playing piano? Uh, yes. Um, this is in the book, but I I'll skip to the chase. I, my grandmother had a little hotel in Glenwood, Arkansas. She bought a piano, an old upright piano, for my mom, who was. A baby, and it was never touched. They brought it to Little Rock. I came home from school. There it was sitting, and I'd already had, I was listening to music constantly, and uh, I sat down and I played songs, and I didn't just pick out notes. I played songs with chords. Now, I don't mean that I was doing Oscar Peterson at that time, <laughs> but um uh, I was, I've always been blessed with this gift, and after my mom and dad picked themselves up off the floor, um, I started playing piano, I started singing, and I never stopped wow. till this moment. <laughs> and, and you have really gotten a chance to hobnob with some of the most amazing people in Hollywood, haven't you? Yes. Name drop. I'm going to give you permission. Just go ahead and drop okay, some Okay, well, some names uh, are you will know, some you will not, but um, they were a great influence uh, in my career uh, musically. Um, Peggy Lee, wow. I had the honor of working for and with her, and um, it was like um, being with the master. She knew what she was doing, and she taught me so many things that I use to this day. Um, uh, Rock Hudson was a very dear friend of mine, and um, uh, he always wanted to be a singer, so uh, he would come in the clubs where I was playing, and we became great friends, and uh, uh, we would work up routines, you know, and I would coach him. I'm a very good vocal coach, and that was great fun. He was a very nice man, and we had a good, he was a good pal. Um, my favorite friend in the business was a singer pianist named Jerry Southern, and she had two or three hits. Um, one being "When I Fall in Love." When I fall in love, uh, Nat Cole had the big hit on it. But uh, I happened to be in her apartment one day, and uh, the phone rang, and it was Natalie Cole, and she had just recorded. When I fall in love, and she said to Jerry, I just want you to know that my dad told me many times that your version, Jerry, was superior to mine. Wow. But anyway, I learned a lot from her, and she retired to vocal coach. She did not like the business, and um, but I spent a lot of time with her. Um, John Geary, yes. who ended up living in Dallas. We traveled all over the country. Um uh, uh, and um, I, I can't think of a lot of other people. I, I, I be, became friends with uh, celebrities who came into the mansion. Um, Julie Wilson, um, this is going back to the university club long before you were born. Uh, uh, all the clubs were private then, and uh, this was the club to be seen. It was downtown between uh, Neiman Marcus and the Adolphus Hotel. 
and there was a small canopy, and you went up the steps, and um, Joe sent you kind of almost like that. <laughs> really? <laughs> and all the movie stars, all the politicians um, came to the university club. And Julie Wilson, I had her, I had her recordings, and um, uh, she was an amazing person. I'll tell you this one quick story. Um, uh, Julie, uh, I recognized her when she came in, uh, and she's moved from the back uh, of the house to the piano and she said would you mind if I sing a tune with you and we with that we did about 40 minutes together Wow! and um, then she said why don't we go out and have breakfast she was in a uh, uh, I think probably a three thousand dollar dress at that time she came right from her show at the Statler and uh, the reason I'm bringing that up is uh, I had my first car, which was a secondhand Volkswagen. <laughs> and um, we went downstairs, got in the car, and went a half a block, and the car died. Oh, my goodness. Julie Wilson, the Julie Wilson <laughs> sitting in the car. And I almost went through the floor. I was so embarrassed. And she said, baby, I'm from Omaha. Let's get out of the car and push it. Are you kidding me? That's no. amazing. No. And from that day forward until Julie died, uh, we were friends for some 50 years. Wow. Close, wonderful friends. Uh, I've got a lot of funny stories in the book, very funny stories. I wanna, We're going to play just a little clip from uh, one of your uh, most famous songs, the uh, Meet Me at the Mansion, and we're going to just play a little clip here. Thanks. <laughs> Let's spend a weekend at our favorite hotel And we'll have dinner with a movie star We'll sip martinis in the hotel pavilion Meet me at the mansion bar Well, tell me about I'm that song. What, what was it about that song that um, almost became a signature for, for folks at the mansion, didn't it? Okay, well, I would like to tell you that I just spent days and days writing that song. Uh, I've been at the mansion a couple of years, and I, I do quite a bit of private parties. And I, as a matter of fact, this party was for Hillary Clinton. Really? But, you know, some private parties, um, you're not featured. You just right, right. play. And uh, she was very kind and came up and blah, blah, blah. But anyway, uh, most of the time, no one was paying any attention to me which sometimes is very good. <laughs> and uh, I thought, well, I started doing a riff. Bum, 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 bum. And then I started writing. You know, I had a, uh, a pen, and, uh, and I started writing lyrics. And I wrote Meet Me at the Mansion Bar. Um, it took about 10 minutes. No kidding. Yeah. <laughs> And I played it that night at the mansion, and then later I put it in my um, the CD. Wow, I love that. Okay, so um, Raquel Welch. Oh, what about her? <laughs> what <laughs> tell, can you say tell about a, Raquel? Tell us that story. Okay, well, uh, once again, before most of you were born, uh, there was an incredible hotel called La Cabana, and it was um, it was uh, on Simmons. Um, it was uh, copied after, well, actually, it was before uh, Jay, a man named Jay Sarno built it. It was a copy. Uh, he then went and uh, created Caesar's Palace okay. in Vegas. Okay. And, um, and it was fountains galore right. uh, in front. Um, the Beatles stayed there. It was right. the place to be once again. And... Um, uh, Nero's Nook was the room that I played, and it was set up like a Las Vegas uh, tiered and everything. And Raquel Welch was the waitress there, one of the waitresses. <laughs> and she kept asking me, uh, she said, I want to sing a tune. And um, so I said, sure. So um, she sang, I, she, I said, well, just, you know, before we get to the piano. Just, and she sang, she sang about a half a chorus. Not good. <laughs> Excuse me, Raquel. 
Uh, and uh, but it really didn't matter. <laughs> she was beautiful then, and uh, many years later, I played Laguna Beach at this wonderful place, and uh, I looked up, and Raquel Welch and a gentleman were sitting about as close as you are to me, breathtakingly beautiful. Wow. That, that actress it? was so Beautiful. Wow. Okay, Linda Ronstadt. Tell that story. Linda Ronstadt, I was at the mansion. I was on a break, and uh, I and you could see from the piano to, to the foyer. And uh, there were steps uh, going up uh, to another room, and I kept thinking, that I think that, that looks like R- Linda Ronstadt. And there was a small little girl that she was watching, and I walked outside, and it was Linda Ronstadt. And I said to her, um, uh, Rosemary uh, is so beautiful. And she looked at me funny, and she said, how do you know my daughter's name? And I said, well, as a matter of fact, recently I read that um, Rosemary Clooney was a dear friend of yours. And if um, girl singers ever had a sponsor, it would be Rosemary Clooney. And uh, and then she said, I've been listening to you for a long time, and you really sing great. Wow. Um, very real and wonderful lady. Wow. You know what I'm going to do with my, with my last minute on the air here? I'm going to let you plug your website, and we're going to play out um, your music playing out into the end of the show. So, Mark, how do people get a hold of, of your book and your music? Okay, go to my website. It's markcarolauthor.com. Mark Carol and Author. And you can order my book, and um, I hope you like it because I think you will. I, I know you will. I know that. And you I will. take pride in my humility. <laughs> Mark, you're awesome. We'll have to have you back, and we're going to let you play us out. Weekend at our favorite hotel, and we'll have dinner with a movie star. We'll sip martinis in the hotel pavilion Meet me at the mansion bar I'm in the mood to hear a few